Today, we are gonna talk about the shift that happens when you are on the precipice of creating serious personal change in your life, all right? And it's especially when you've gone through a toxic relationship and you believe things to be a certain way, and then you have to kind of come back around and try them a different way. Throughout the course of my own recovery, I have found myself experiencing a lot of different shifts in mindset, several. In some moments, it sort of felt like a switch had been flipped. I suddenly understood things differently and I would recognize that I had been wrong all along in some way or another. Each of those times, I found myself evolving and growing in new ways. For example, I've told you before the story just of how after a really profound betrayal from my toxic family, I literally almost felt something break inside me. And that was one of those moments of shift. Another time, a couple years later, I found myself in a very unexpected moment of anger. And it was just, while I was working one day, something happened. Through the process of my inner child work, I had managed to recognize that I was not really the complete waste of skin that I had been led to believe that I was by the toxic people in my life. You would think that would make me happy. And eventually it did make me happy. But when I recognized how much of my life had been wasted believing, number one, that I was worthless and recognizing that it was directly caused by the fact that I had allowed other people's opinions of me to become my own, my own opinion of me, on some level, my own reality. Well, I was mad. I was incredibly angry. And I felt maybe for the first time in my life, what I like to call justified rage. That moment would lead to another one of those light switch moments where my perception suddenly shifted. And I sort of launched into this whole period in my life where I went through this incredible personal evolution, transformation on almost every level. Well, then there was the birth of my oldest child who, when he was born, I I found myself shifting in a new way. I found a different understanding of my relationship with my father. And I'm not gonna go into those reasons today because that's a whole other story. But then the birth of my youngest child, my only girl, I found a different shift happening. I found myself wanting to be more connected to my mother, but that wasn't really an option. I tried to even call her at that time and tell her about this feeling that I had, but she couldn't get it. So it led me to recognize that I needed a connection or I wanted a connection to the generations of women who came before me and my family, the, all the mothers, you know, not just the one I had. And so that made me really start digging into my, my family's history and genealogy. You know, um, I had my DNA done, I did all that stuff because since I couldn't feel connected to her, I wanted to be connected to other women who came before me, like I said, in a, in a different way where I could maybe learn their stories and their struggles and find out who they were. I could go on for hours. <laughs> and I could also go on for hours about the little shifts that have led me to this particular point in my personal personal development, but I won't because today we're not here to talk about me. We're here to talk about you and your own personal evolution. We're going to talk about the shift versus the profound metamorphosis in our evolution after narcissistic abuse. So here we all are. And and I found this quote a while back that kind of sums it up for me. I don't know who said it. So if you hear this and you know who said it, let me know in the chat because I do want to give credit where it's due. The quote reads like this. As you are shifting, you will begin to realize you are not the same person you used to be. The things that you used to tolerate have now become intolerable. Where you once remained quiet, you are now speaking your truth. Where you once battled and argued, you are now choosing to remain silent. You are beginning to understand the value of your voice. And there are some situations that no longer deserve your time, energy, and focus. Blew my mind, y'all. It spoke to me on a soul level. I didn't realize, in fact, that I really wasn't the person I, I have been before. I really wasn't tolerating the same stuff I had once tolerated. And clearly, I'm now speaking my truth pretty openly. <laughs> I have also stopped trying to argue with anyone who won't hear me. Some people, they can hear you. They choose not to listen. They choose not to understand. I like to think of those people as brick walls and I just don't mess with them. I always tell myself and anyone who asks me, I don't talk to brick walls. They don't listen, (laughs) you know? I've learned to save my energy and my voice for things and people who actually deserve my time and my focus. And those are people like you. The thing is, this is why I do what I do. Because even if you're not ready to say goodbye to the problems or the problem people in your life, we all know who they are. You will personally shift as you start to learn about what you're dealing with and you start to learn about yourself in that process. The truth is that it relates to anything you do and so does my healing method, which I call the duo method, which is discover, understand, overcome, and then evolve 
beyond that stuff. I've literally solved every problem in my own life with that same method, not just my toxic relationships. It's it's because it works. Because here's the thing. The first thing you're focusing on when you're discovering is the knowledge and the information, you know, because you're trying to figure out exactly what a lot of us didn't even know we were going through abuse until we found out that there was such a thing because emotional abuse, verbal, abu verbal abuse, all of that stuff is incredibly sneaky, pervasive. So unless we were being physically abused, we have no, we don't always know until somebody tells us that, in fact, we're not crazy. We're not really the bad, horrible person they tell us we are. In fact, we're, we're all right and we're okay. And, it, and, and, and it's not us. That's the problem. When, when I realized that, that was another one of those shifts for me, but it, I didn't have the gift of YouTube at that time. And I had to do a lot of research and books. The next step, then the understanding step asks you to try to comprehend and understand the information that you're dealing with, and then asks you to take it to the next level and connect the emotional stuff to the facts that you've learned so that you can overcome then and evolve from what you've learned. It's pretty good stuff. The shift thing though, let's get back to that. It's real. Maybe I never even considered it a shift before. Maybe I wanted to think it was something fancier, like a metamorphosis or a profound transformation. And those things do come but it all begins with this one thing and it's that shift in your mindset in your thought patterns it's a shift in your personal awareness and a shift in the deepest part of your soul you feel me on this it's a shift in your overall energy and and the way that you present yourself to the world and and not just that but but it's very deep it's on the inside you know so the way you present yourself to the world people may or may not notice the shift right away but they will eventually see that there's something different about you. You'll know it right away. As soon as it happens, it changes. And you know, even if you're not changing in that second, you know, it's coming. It does. It becomes a metamorphosis. It becomes a profound transformation. But first the shift and without the shift, well, it never begins, does it? As you shift, you become less and less tolerant of things that tarnish your energy and corrode your life. And over time, you raise your standards. And slowly but surely, you grow in confidence. You grow in understanding of yourself. You grow in self-awareness. A little by little, bit by bit, step by step, you get there. But it starts with the shift. And if you are in a toxic relationship right now at this time, you will find that before long, you know you have to change if you ever want to be happy and grow. You might not like it, but you know it's coming, you feel it. And once that shift is underway, a powerful, sometimes shocking thing happens. You start to really see the problem and you know the solution. And it might be a hard solution and it might be something you just don't really wanna do, but things have never been clearer. You know the shift is, is happening. It's time to shine because you're about to create something better for your life, something new, something different. And come hell or high water, you will start taking care of yourself. And in some ways is maybe your mother should have or someone else in your life or just the way you should have all along. And you'll become your own fiercest advocate if you're careful. <laughs> That's a beautiful thing. And this is when, even when it seems impossible, you figure out a way to make that obvious solution you figured out become a reality. I think that's the shift, right? As we go through the healing process, we learn first that we have a problem. And then we start to understand the mechanics of it, how it works. And eventually the psychology, the behaviors, all of that comes together for us. And at some point we recognize the depth of it. Then, and in my opinion, only then, can we really begin to evolve and shift and become the truest, fullest versions of who we are, of ourselves. It's a beautiful thing. It really is. Yeah, yeah I know, I think too much, I get that. <laughs> but what do you think about this, this idea of the shift? That brings me to the question of the day. And the question of the day is, have you personally experienced one or more of these shifts? And how did you feel about it when it happened? Share your thoughts, ideas, experiences in the comments section below. As always, thank you so much for being a part of my day and a part of my life. And hey, thanks for letting me be a part of yours. It really does mean a lot to me. Now, before I go, make sure you take a look at the videos I'm leaving for you here and here. And while you're at it, hit that subscribe button so we can stay connected and continue on this healing journey together. I'll see you soon.